Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Uh, in this video, we will see the mock Viva for retail management. And for this mock Viva, I have with me Kushi Batevara. Hello, Kushi. Hello, everyone. Hello, sir. Uh, can you please introduce yourself and tell me what did you do in the project? Yes, sir. My name is Kushi Batevara. I am a BBS student as my specialization marketing. I am here to talk about the business exposure project, which you have given us such a great opportunity to study on. Uh, it is under the subject retail management and I have studied the, I have taken Westside as my case study. Okay, uh, Kushi, there are a lot of you know other brands or other multinational uh, apparel stores rather they operate and they do have their existence here. Uh, but still, why did you uh, selected only Westside, why not some other store? Uh, I had options of selecting other brands too. But Westside is one of the fastest, fastest growing retail store in India. It is established in more than 42 cities. Uh, so it gives me opportunity and a lot of content to study about it because it has been, uh, men's, women and kids as their products, selling products. So it was a very great experience using Westside as my case study. Good. Uh, can you tell me some other competitors of Westside, especially in India? In India, Westside has uh, competitors like Pantaloons, uh, Shopper Stop as one of the major uh, competitors because most of the patterns are same, like using loyalty cards, the layout of the store, uh, also the billing section. It's quite similar, but Westside stands out. It has its unique properties. True, these are the uh, major competitors of Westside in uh, Pune and in India also. Can you also Pune tell me? Yes, other 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 competitors also they do operate like pantaloons and stuff which you said. Yes, uh, can you tell me the objective of your visit? Uh, my main objectives of the visit were to study the exterior of the store, the layout of the store, the billing pattern of the store, and the overall how the store works and how the profile of the staff there are managed by the heads. Okay, uh, you mentioned uh, one of your objective was to study the store layout. So can you tell me uh, the types of layouts? Uh, the types of layouts. Uh, so this in particular Westside has grid layout. I also start, uh, under my observation, I uh, had two observations that it is very easy for the staff to clean the grid layout uh, because the space between the racks are distinct and also for the customers there is no confusion uh, what to buy and from where everything is displayed and showcased very well to the customer. Okay, uh, can you tell me the kind of products or the merchandise they do offer to their uh, customers? Uh, yes, uh, Westside has, is one of the brand which uh, gained its private label in less than a year. 97% of the products which are sold in Westside are under their private label. Uh, and other than private labeling, they also have uh, products like Luna Blue, the products under the beauty segment, uh, which they cannot manufacture because they have a lot of other varieties. Uh, they'll soon start manufacturing of the beauty products also. The lipsticks, the fragrance, uh, and the compacts and all are other than private label. Uh, you mentioned one term, uh, private label brand. So what does it mean? Uh, private label brands are the brands which sell their own products and in their own store. They don't have to, uh, like, uh, take products from other well-known brands and uh, market them and sell under Westside. So Westside, what Westside does is they manufacture own uh, casual wears, the, uh, the clothing of the Westside under the name of the new marketing campaign they introduced was Neon. And the clothing they manufactured, they sell under the private label. Okay. Uh, you had also mentioned about the category of the goods and uh, one category you mentioned was a beauty product, right? So can you tell me which was the major category of the uh, products uh, available, been made available by the website 
like as you said beauty products maybe apparel or footwear and stuff so the main focus of website they initially started with the clothing brand which is the apparel wear it's the key of website the major uh, segment of the website is covered by the clothing the apparel wear and rest of them are just addition okay uh, you mentioned about the uh, apparel uh, so a lot of you no know, manufacturers and global brands also nowadays have started giving uh, emphasis on uh, eco friendly uh, products so when it specifically comes to an apparel there's one term uh, which is uh, trending that we called as uh, eco fashion uh, so what does it mean do you have any idea about this uh, yes sir it's a very new trend very uh, nice uh, it usually uses the sustainable products like uh, for marketing also Uh, like shopper stop uh, and website they use uh, for the campaign for the mannequins they make dresses of made out of newspaper which is reusable the paper uh, after that uh, the sus- uh, all the product they have concepts like reusing the reusing the clothes renting the clothes and uh, customizing the clothes so that they don't have to manufacture in in bulk and wastage of the products is very limited okay i want to know your personal response when it comes to uh, you know environmental uh, care and stuff so like let's say for example uh, there's one a uh, regular category of the good uh, when it comes to an apparel and second is uh, specifically you know eco fashion and stuff so if the choice is given to you which one you will prefer to uh, you know select or choose so now nowadays everybody has become eco friendly uh, unfortunately thanks to covid 19 uh, so i would choose eco friendly eco fashion uh, because it is a hype nowadays and a trendy product in which it does not affect your fashion sense and it lets you try new things which uh, mo- most probably people people would wouldn't have tried before like it's very it's uncommon and very okay if, even if the option is made available uh, or option is given to me i'll definitely go with the one which is been taken care of the environment good uh kushi we have uh, come to an end but before that i want to know major learnings what did you learn from this project uh, from the project i it was very helpful and it helped me bridge the gap between the classroom learning and the real life learning uh, i went to the stores the, i improved my communication skills first of all i had to interact with a lot of staff there asking for their permission to take the interviews and take product uh, photos of their products and the store uh, also it helped me uh, write the report on the product which i noted down and later i elaborated i i also took the recording of one of the staff like voice recording which uh, in which they were telling me about their personal growth in website how they started with a normal staff and now they are the manager there regional manager so it was very helpful very good what you absolute what you said was absolutely true it gives you an opportunity to link uh, your academic what has been taught in the classroom and you get the exposure to the you know real store real environment very nice so here we have come to an end uh, so if you want to ask any question to me uh, you can feel free to ask that question i would like to thank you for giving me such a great opportunity to visit the store study about the store and also to give this mock viva interview uh, so it was very great experience for me i would like you to give me some suggestions if any needed i would work on myself uh to be very honest your uh, project drafting and report was really wonderful uh, one thing which i can suggest to you is you can take this study ahead and you can do some comparative analysis of wasted and some other brand and if possible you can also try to retrieve some kind of a case study or if you could develop some model that will help you uh, if you want to now make your career maybe in retail or in any uh, segment that will help definitely sir thank you okay so thank you once again 
uh, for sharing your uh, project details and uh, joining me for this mock viva. Thank you once again. A uh, disclaimer, uh, this video has been uh, recorded and uploaded uh, for the study purpose, for the education purpose only. Uh, if you have liked, please do hit on the like button, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.